Because we're going to draw Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, with the big bad wolf. Yeah. All right, Hads, you got your marker? Yes. Yes. We hope you guys have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. My name's Rob and Hads. your name is Hads. How old are you? Six. Six. We're going to keep this nice and easy. We love doing art together, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're new to our channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. And you'll get notified of our new videos. You ready to start? Yes. Okay, let's do it. We're going to first start by drawing an upside down U. And this is going to be for her hair and also for her hood and the top of her head. Okay, so we're just going to draw an upside down U. We're going to start, we're going to do it a little to the left so we can put the wolf right here. So we're going to start right there, upside down U. Start right here? Yeah, that's a good spot. Good. Yes, good job. All right, now we're going to draw the bottom of her head. And so we're going to draw a curved line for the bottom of her chin. So you can just do it right there. Good. Okay, let's, let's draw our eyes next. And we're gonna draw two little circles, one like this and one like that. <laughs> she looks like a zombie. Yeah, so far. <laughs> All right, let's make it so she looks cuter. We're gonna put uh, two little circles in the top right and we can color in the bigger circle, but leave that smaller circle white so it looks like a little reflection in her eyes. Makes her eyes look shiny. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, let's do the eyelashes. Eyelashes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. <laughs> Good. Now let's draw our little nose. Looks like a little smile. Good. And then let's draw a bigger smile underneath. <laughs> we could do little cheek lines too on the side of her mouth. All right. Okay. Now let's give her some hair so she doesn't look bald. We're going to do a line that goes over the top of her eyes. <laughs> and then let's put some texture lines in her hair so... It looks more like hair. <laughs> she, she's looking really cute. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's draw the let's draw two little braids that she has her hair in. So we're gonna draw three uh, U shapes that are connected together, and I just did them off of that line, and I'm gonna do the same on this side. One, two, two three. <laughs> Good. Okay, now we're going to do a little X right here. And this is for her bow, the end of her hair. And I'm going to do an X on this side. Good. And then we can connect the ends of the X to make the bow. That's a pretty simple way to make a bow, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw the end of her hair. So we're going to do a little curve on both sides. Good. And then we can do an S line to connect the hair and finish the end. Good. Yeah, you did. <laughs> she looks really cute. <laughs> All right, let's draw her body next. Okay. So we're gonna draw two lines that come out from under her chin. Squeaky marker. And we're going to taper those, and that means uh, close together at the top and far apart at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that way she kind of looks like she's going to have a dress on. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> okay, and then let's connect the bottom. And I did a curved line. Good. Okay, so she's going to have a little jacket on. So let's do another curve right here at the bottom. And she's also going to have her hood on, too, but we're going to draw that later. And let's draw a line down the middle. Okay. Good. And then let's put three buttons. One, two, three. And we can color those in. <laughs> I 
Good. And then let's draw stripes on her dress. Perfect. Okay, let's draw her little shoes sticking out of the bottom of her dress. So two U shapes. And then we're going to do two little U's, one inside of each shoe. Good. Okay, what's she missing? Um, her hands. Yes, her arms and her hands. So let's do two lines that come out of the top, right next to her neck. And I'm going to do two on the side also. I will do this. Oh yeah, it kind of needs to go behind her hair, huh? Mm-hmm. Good job. Okay, and then two on this side. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do really simple hands. We're going to do a circle. Well, it's not a complete circle. There we go. And then we'll do another one on this side. And we want those to be the same size. Kind of looks like Q-tips, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let's give her a basket because she's taking food to her grandma, right? Yes. Okay, so let's draw a line at the bottom of her hand. Then let's draw a U-shape to connect the two ends of the line. It's going to be the basket. And then let's draw diagonal lines like this, go in that direction. Good. And then we're going to draw, you could probably put another one right there. Okay. Good. And then we're going to draw diagonal lines going the other way. And that's going to make it look like the basket's Woven. 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 <laughs> Good. And then she needs a handle on her basket, right? So mm -hmm. let's do a little line on both sides that connects her hand to the basket. There's the handle. We did it. Okay, she's missing her hood, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to start up here and we're going to draw a little curve that comes out and goes over her head and then back down and then curves back into her <laughs> into her braid. So start right there, go up, over her head, and then back into this braid. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> That's awesome, I love it. Good, oh, <laughs> got a little sad on the end. <laughs> okay, and then let's connect her hood into her dress. So we're gonna draw a line that goes behind and we're using overlapping so we want to imagine it going behind all of the other parts of her body. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. We'll imagine this line coming through her braid and then going through her arm and to her back. And you could probably start there and then come through there. Good. We did it. What's she missing? Um, the wolf. The big bad wolf, right? Okay, we're going to draw a the scariest wolf you've ever seen. Okay, here we go. Scary. We're gonna, super scary. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna draw a little a little circle right here. <laughs> That's gonna be for our wolf's head. <laughs> we're gonna draw them right, yeah, right there. Good. And then inside, we're gonna draw two ovals, kind of like we did for her face. This is oh, not circle. evil. <laughs> All right, that's a scary wolf. What are you talking about? And then I'm going to color in his eyes except for the little light reflecting. I'm not. You're going to leave him like that? Or you could color the whole thing in. Okay. There you go. Okay, now we're going to do an upside down. Oh, of course. <laughs> now he doesn't look scary at all. <laughs> He's got eyelashes. <laughs> All right, okay, now we're going to do his little nose, and we're going to do an upside-down triangle. So we can do a line straight across, and then a V on the bottom. <laughs> and then I'm going to connect the nose to the bottom of the circle. He looks cute. <laughs> okay, let's draw his body. So we're going to do a U shape. Looks like a stuffed animal. It does, kind of. <laughs> All right, we got his body, and then we're going to do two more U's, one for this leg and another one for this leg. Then we're going to do two U sideways U's or C shapes for his arms. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a little circle in here for his hand, his paw. Paw. All right, he's missing his ears, huh? Mm -hmm. He doesn't really look like a wolf. So let's do one line over here. Another line over there. Wolves kind of have big ears. 
<laughs> and then we're gonna connect the ear into the head. <laughs> Those are big ears. And then we're gonna draw the little inside part of his ear. <laughs> we did it. Did you have fun? Yes. Good. All right, let's pick out our colors and we'll come right back. Okay. Okay, heads, we're gonna use a peach color, pink, red, brown, and gray. And our art friends can pause the video when we're done coloring so they can match what we did. But you ready to fast forward? Yes. Let's do it right, right. now. Now you guys at home can pause the video right now to match the coloring that we did, or you can color her a different way if you want. You don't have to use the same colors we did. And we use oil pastels from Pentel. We love these, they're fun to use. But you guys at home can use crayons or markers or colored pencils, anything that you have around the house. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Little Red Riding Hood with us and the Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> you're better to smell your way.